Hi guys, Ramesh is trying to open a lock with different keys, but it's not working. There is always a specific key for the particular lock. Making the keys requires measurements of less than 1 millimeter. If not, the key will not fit perfectly and it can never open a lock. That's how precise and accurate it has to be. But the question is, how can one take readings with such accuracy if the size of a part is less than 1 millimeter? You cannot make more markings on a scale because those markings will be too close and visibility will be in danger. To avoid this, a French mathematician, Pierre Vernier, used two separate scales. One scale is like a normal meter ruler, having the least count of 1 millimeter. Another scale has 10 divisions, but these divisions are such that 10 divisions cover a distance of 9 millimeters. This is the vernier scale. On the main scale, one division is 1 millimeter. On the vernier scale, one division is 0 0.9 millimeters. How to take measurements using the two scales? When a division on the main scale perfectly coincides with a division on the vernier scale, we get our reading. Let's understand this better. First, we will check at what value on the main scale is the zero reading of vernier caliper coinciding. Here, it is 1.2 centimeters. Then we check which vernier scale reading is coinciding with the main scale. Here it is the first division. Remember, with every next division, the vernier scale trails by 0.01 cm. That means the value is 0.01 cm. So the final reading will be the addition of the two values that are 1.21 cm. Can you tell the final reading from the given scales? The zero of the vernier scale is slightly ahead of the 2.2 cm mark on the main scale. This tells us that the reading on the main scale is 2.2 cm. The third division on the vernier scale exactly coincides with the main scale, meaning the vernier scale reading is 0.03 cm, thus giving us a final reading value of 2.23 cm. Using two scales, helped in getting accurate measurements of less than 1 millimeter. Join your class to continue learning about measuring lengths.